All right, let's circle back. Mr. Ray, where are we? Well, I I'm sorry, Mr. Machado, did you want to wrap up with? <coughs> I think, uh, yeah, thank you. I think we're, we, the economic stimulus shows the Delta is a very valuable asset in terms of its environmental, cultural, and economic impacts, particularly the economic to the local and statewide. Uh, I think we've Excuse me. had a lot of conversation has taken place uh, about what's being proposed to the Delta, uh, not necessarily here, but just in general. And we have attempted to try to show what the impacts of certain proposals would be to the, the economy and the, the culture and the legacy communities around that. Uh, there's also potential impacts that we've tried to highlight that would come from proposals that would be affecting the land use and would have subsequent impacts to the economy of the Delta. I think what this highlights, too, from the discussion that we've had today here is that with all the conversation that has taken place, there has been little, I believe, of uh, cooperation and collaboration with the various entities that are proposing to do things in the Delta. And there's very little that's being proposed that doesn't have some type of impact. And we've tried to show an avenue that could be pursued that minimizes the impacts, utilizes the existing infrastructure, and is very cognizant of the values in the Delta, both from an agricultural perspective, an infrastructure perspective, a people's perspective, and how those values are not inconsistent with trying to achieve the values that are within the Delta Reform Act, of water reliability and economic and, and restoration of habitat. Uh, too often, I think, in the political arena, we get driven down certain roads and we oftentimes develop tunnel vision. The commission is, uh, is, is not immune from that either. But I think this document hopes to show, I think, the diversity, the complexity and the value of the Delta. Thank you for allowing us to be on the present. Great. Thank you.